the strategic assets are still in the, in the telco's hands. They're still fully in control of what's running over at those other clouds. They're just giving up the piece of running all of the infrastructure. Right? Do you really need to run the entire stack or can you just focus on the most important part? And I think a really good example here is with Salesforce. Right? That's Salesforce came about in the, I guess, the mid to late 90s. They had this really great uh, campaign. They had this sort of software, you know, no software sign, the international not sign of like, don't install the software on on premise. We will manage the stack for you and you can focus on your business and you can focus on your customers and we'll manage everything else. And at first, if you remember, everyone was like, that's insane. We're not going to give you our trusted customer data that's in our entire business. We're not going to give that to you. We can't trust you guys are running out of garage. And back in the day, Salesforce was running in a garage. They were running their own cloud. Hyperscalers didn't really exist. And Salesforce is like, great, we'll focus on the small medium businesses and you know, catch you later, big guys. And all the big guys were focused on Siebel systems. If you remember, I don't know how old you are, but I'm old enough to remember Siebel systems was the um, application of choice. Installed on premise, highly customized, super expensive. All the big companies used Siebel systems. And Salesforce just kind of chased this, the small medium um, market. And they got momentum. And now sort of here we are in 2020. They're the de facto leaders. Siebel systems still exist but it's not the market leader that it used to be. And now even the largest companies in the world trust Salesforce with their customer data. And they focus on their business and they don't focus on running all the infrastructure of um, these applications. And I think the same thing holds for telcos, right? Where you don't need to own the machines, um, own the load balancers, um, you know, manage even the applications. You need to make sure that the system is, um, there's enough security, um, you have all the compute power you need, you know how the cloud works, um, and you set it all up, but I don't think you need to like have it on premise and it's safer that way and it's better that way. And that's something that I think this industry will have to get over, I, right? It's, they like to have this sort of, you know I, kn I know the throat, I can, you know, the throat to choke is within arm's reach and they're going to have to give that up a little bit, but it's going to be better, right? They're going to have faster cycles on uh, software upgrades, features are going to roll out, service improvements to customers um, are going to be rolled out much more quickly, and they're going to just have to deal with that trade-off of, I'm not, I don't have the throat within arm's reach, but everything will be better because of it.